Hello, I'm Robin Wooten, and today our topic is on your LDR. When your doctor needs information on details of a drug he or she intends to prescribe for you, there is one source that is common to all. That's the physician's desk reference, or PDR. You'll often find one or more at every medical office or hospital. This book is a roadmap of sorts to guide the doctor into making exactly the right choices to correct a problem or to improve your health. We are fortunate to also have a book that can guide us into choosing the right spiritual medicines and avoiding those actions and things that would poison us. This, of course, is the Bible. We could call this our love desk reference or LDR for short. In this book is everything we need to know on how to please God and live a better life by making better choices. Just as the PDR advises the doctor on how to accurately prescribe medicine to choose exactly the most effective one, so does the Bible give expert advice on life's choices. It provides character studies and how mistakes were made and corrected, such as the children of Israel in the Old Testament beginning in Exodus 20 and 1, who wandered into false worship while Moses was on the mountain of Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments. The Bible also works for us by advising us on how to avoid problems in the first place, a prevention strategy much like certain medicines keep physical problems from getting started. Nowhere is this clearer than in the parables of Jesus. Parables defines as earthly stories with a heavenly meaning. And in these stories are some of the most profound truths presented in the most simplest of ways. You find descriptions of prophecy, wise sayings, prophetic messages, characteristics of Christ as an illustration guide, teachings of spiritual truths, fulfillment advice, hidden treasure, seed sowing, not to be confused with the Farm Bureau commercials, classifications of Christ concerning salvation, like in the parable of the Pharisee and publican, not to be confused with being politically incorrect, saying Republican. He did, after all, say in Luke 18 and 14, that he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. While Christ did not invent the parable, it is significant that he is the only one who used them in the New Testament. At one time in his ministry, it was his only method in speaking to the masses. Our doctor prescribes medicines based on physical reality and personal experience. Likewise, the Bible presents us with advice based on the reality of the soul, put to us in a way that we can use in every personal aspect of our lives. For example, Think of the words of Jesus as your own individual love prescription, a guide to an ever better life. Just think, you can grab your own prescription pad and choose from 66 books, 1189 chapters, 31,173 verses, or 673,692 words of enlightenment. Wow! The Bible is the greatest book that has ever been written. In it, God Himself speaks to men. It is a book of divine instruction. It offers comfort and sorrow, guidance and perplexity, advice for our problems and daily inspiration for our every need. The Bible is not simply one book. It is an entire library of books covering the whole range of literature. It includes history, poetry, drama, biography, prophecy, 
philosophy, science, and inspirational reading. Little wonder that it has been translated into more than 1,200 languages, and every year more copies of the Bible are sold than any other single book. The Bible alone truly answers the greatest questions that men of all ages have asked. Where have I come from? Where am I going? Why am I here? How can I know the truth? The Bible reveals the truth about God, explains the origin of man, points out the way to salvation and eternal life and explains the age-old problem of sin and suffering. The great purpose of the written Word of God, the Bible, is to reveal the living Word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Dr. Wilbur Smith relates some great things that the study of the Bible will do for us. One, the Bible imparts strength. Two, the Bible instructs us in what we are to do. Three, the Bible provides us with a sword for victory. Four, the Bible makes our lives fruitful. And five, the Bible gives us power to pray. In Isaiah 38, verses 1 through 5, the scriptures tell us that a man's life was increased by 15 years because he prayed. That sounds like a great longevity prescription to me. So pick up your LDR or Love Desk reference when you need to know what spiritual tonic will heal your pain and suffering. It's there when you need it and Him. I'm Robin Wooten, and I thank you for listening.